him my dear students let us begin mathematics exercise 3.3 question number 3 dear students in the question they have given the information number of children in six different classes are given below represent the data on bar graph hope you are understanding that number of children in six different classes are given below the information is given below you have to represent this data on a bar graph the table is given class different classes and number of children first they have asked you one sub question what would you choose a scale what would you choose a scale you have to observe the data by seeing the data you will understand what scale you have to use now here the one hundred thirty five one twenty ninety five hundred ninety eighty according to convenient to you you can choose the data you even you can take ten twenty thirty forty also or you can take twenty five also it is left to you but the main thing is that when you have taken the data you have to be very careful and you have to draw on the measurement graph my dear students the first one let us start the bar graph see as i told you class you have to take it one x axis another one is y axis the main thing is here number of children these are the children so we have to write number of children the main thing is now we have to show here 5th 6th 7th 8th 9th 10th the first we have to begin from 5th only and here we have chosen the scale one unit is equal to 25 children so why i have chosen according to my space according to the data i have chosen that me here one unit so 25 50 75 100 125 150 Now, how to choose it? Now, first one is fifth standard. Let us take fifth standard. Here, one hundred thirty-five is it? So, one hundred thirty-five approximately it comes here. So, it is which class? Fifth. Yeah, you can mention in the center also. F I F T H fifth. The next one is that sixth. Sixth will be one hundred twenty. So, it should be below one twenty-five. so i am choosing here 120 this is which class 6 so you can write that 6 the next one 7th 7th is 95 it should be below 100 so i will choose uh, from here to here which class it is 7th 90 so you can write s e v e n t h 7th next one is 9th Ninth means you have to ninety. So let us choose here ninth. N i n t h ninth. The next one is tenth is eighty. Eighty will be coming above seventy five. So I will take it here. That is which class tenth. So you can mention that. So now the representing the graph is. ready to draw the graph the main thing title must be there number of children in different class then x axis y axis x axis i have chosen as a class y axis i have chosen number of children the here while choosing and you have to represent this bar complete bar graph as i told you to draw bar graph so i have now i have drawn the bar graph now let us answer for the questions Then in the A question we have answered. Now B question in that sub question, which class has the maximum number of children and the minimum? You can see from the bar graph. See bar graphs are useful as I told you, even for uneducated people also, as well as very easily you can grasp the information by seeing the graph. You will understand this is the highest, this is the minimum. Highest which class? Fifth class minimum is tenth class. They ask which class, so you can write that the answer is in the B first one highest 
which class highest is i mean maximum is which class 135 means fifth standard next minimum minimum maximum minimum means lowest one that is which class 80 that class is 10th hope you understood in that the second question they have asked that find the ratio of the students of class 6th of the students of class 8 6th and class 8th ratio so class 8th let us take 8th ratio and 6th 6th is having what is the 6th class strength 120 8th class strength is 100 so 0 0 cancelled 0 0 cancelled you can cancel it 0 0 now we have to write the ratio so 2 6 are 2 5 are so the ratio is 6 is to 5 this is the answer for the b second sub question hope you understood how to draw the bar graph or how to represent the bar graph by using the given data thank you my dear students